Shout out to Marco Pedrana, AMG, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Big Mantis, Christopher Gray, Mata Alcusa, Nathan Arseno, and Touch My Dilly. Welcome back, Game Wicking family, to another F1 Clash video, and we're here for or how to win series five part two video uh, that we should have been done from yesterday. Uh, but yesterday got so busy for me, I couldn't uh, complete the video. Also, we should have been live streaming today. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Sorry again, guys, uh, for the live stream this week. Uh, so we'll definitely pick up back live stream Tuesday, next week and Thursday onwards. All right. Uh, also, I wanted to drop the How to Win Series 6 Part 1 video today, uh, but I'm gonna be holding on to that video until tomorrow. Uh, and just drop this video today because I'm a little bit burned out as you guys know I've been grinding a lot. I'm a little bit tired I wasn't gonna make a video today, but I decided to put this one out. So uh, it's gonna be our only video for today uh, So sorry for the inconvenience guys. I'm just a little tired So I'm just gonna try and get a little rest uh, today and then we'll start up again tomorrow with the how to win series 6 series All right So for this one uh, we've thrown in, thrown in our Kevin Magnuson in there. He's level 5 your Kevin Magnuson probably not at level 5 at this point, uh, but he and Joe are going to be your best drivers uh, at this portion of the game uh, for Series 6. All right, If you don't have uh, Kevin Magnuson at a good level, as, a, as you saw yesterday, Pierre Gasly uh, did a beautiful job of driving with us. All right, So these are the car setup that we're using. Uh, I upgraded uh, this engine uh, a bit for some other pushing throughout some other divisions, uh, but so it's going to be a bit higher level than probably yours but the, this is the setup that you want to have uh, at this stage if you have these parts make sure you put that setup on and that should be your best setup to use at this level all right remember once again we're trying to keep away from uh the guys uh are, that are high, the higher level using the higher level epics and we're also trying to how always have the worst car uh but the good drivers all right so we're going to be looking for baku and canada for this one Let's jump straight into it. Here we go for our next first race of the video. We found Canada. So we're going to be running on Canada for this one. Let's see what we can do here. Who's that way out in front? Mick Schumacher, I guess. Nope, Kevin Magnuson. It, oh, it was Kevin Magnus. I thought I had on my Mick Schumacher. We got on Kevin Magnuson. Our Kevin Magnuson is at level 5. He's going to be way overpowered for these guys. Alright, so let's run the Canada strategy anyways. Alright, so for Canada, you always want to do the one stop. So what you want to do is go four laps with your lead driver. So put your lead driver on soft compounds and your second driver on hard compounds. Alright, so we're going to be going four laps with, with our lead driver. And then we're gonna come back to hard tires and boost the finish. Uh, and for Joe, uh, we're gonna come five laps and then we'll come back to mediums and boost the finish. You always wanna make sure you have that one lap extra whenever going for a boost to finish strategy. Uh, so you wanna make sure you have that one lap extra always. All right, so for instance, if you were gonna go to pit in the fifth lap, you would want to select the medium tires as it's three to four laps so you can boost those tires straight to finish uh, without cutting down all right if you were going to pit in the in the fifth lap in the sixth lap and it was two laps remaining then you want to go over to the soft tires and boost those tires to the finish all right all right so we we'll just let our drivers cruise here we see the rival on softs with verstappen all the way out there that should be a rare Verstappen, not the epic Verstappen. As this setup with the low, low car and the good drivers will force uh, your rivals to have bad drivers and a good car. So that's the rare Verstappen with the rare Norris, I would say. Or probably common Verstappen with common Norris. All right, so we have one more lap to go before we start our boost of pit phase with our Kevin Magnuson. As our Zoe will be doing five laps and coming back for mediums and boosting to finish. If we had to do six laps with our Zoe here, we'd come back to soft tires and boost to finish. 
All right, we could boost here by pit with both our drivers. So we create a little bit of distance and pick up on the rival and the other cars that are going to be making their pit stop now. We could leave that boost going straight to pit, but we're going to cut back down with or Zo, as he's not going to be going to pit in this lap, but Magnuson will, and we're going to be coming back to hard tires to boost the finish. As you can see, it's four to six with Kevin. And if you're running your Mick Schumacher and Joe, uh, it should be four to six as well for you. We can now boost or Joe once again by pit here to catch all of those. We're going to be going into pit. Then we're going to bring in or Joe for mediums with servicing and then boost to the finish. So that's basically the strategy that I use for Canada and the strategy I would recommend you guys use as well. All right, just a one stop. Medium hards, mediums, four laps, come back, hard tires, boost to finish. Hard tires, five lap, come back, medium tires, boost to finish. All right. Go, 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 Joe. Joe is in there for a while, 6.22. He's back out in P15. All right, so now we're basically just going to be boosting here to finish for the remaining la four laps. Or three laps or two laps that's remaining now. So we'll just be here boosting away now. Picking up on those who are going to be going to pit and possibly picking up another few positions. And that, this, this one is basically in the bag for us. As you can see, the rival uh, Verstappen tires are worn down. So he won't be able to do a push lap for his final lap. He'll have to cruise or go to pit here. And so he's decided to cruise around. We're going to cut up the regular driving as we're down to low fuel. And once you pass a line with one, per one lap of fuel remaining, you could cut up the regular driving. And that regular driving will take you to the end. All right. Now we can just boost him uh, across the line as we see Orzo here. Still boosting away, trying to pick off that position. Didn't get to it. Easy win here at Canada. Looks like Alonso is out of tires there. He held us off uh, for the last of it. Right down the line there. All right, let's jump on into our next race. Hopefully we can find Baku for our next track really quick. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed that it doesn't take me a long while. Here we go. We finally found Baku after about three or four searches. Didn't take long today as the game also know that I'm tired and I need to go get some rest. <laughs> We've also switched out Kevin Magnuson as he's a Series 5 driver. And if you do have Magnuson though, or in your Series 5, if you've gained Magnuson as you're in Series 5, as a epic, you want to use him. If not, then you want to go with Mick Schumacher. As you can see, we switched in Mick here. All right, so we're going to go hard and medium again. Always put your lead driver on those mediums. The softer compound on your lead driver so you don't get the team bug, the team orders bug. All right. I'm not sure if it's a bug, <clears throat> but it's it's definitely annoying uh, whenever your, your lead driver is on the... You see the rival here starting with his lead driver on the hard compound. As you see, that lead driver is just going to slow down and let his driver on the soft compound go by while well, the lead driver pulled away there so i guess it probably does not affect ai's as it does affect real players wait boost here boost here boost here boost here we see him boosting his back driver so that lead me to boost uh, my driver as well because i know his lead driver on those hards are going to slow down uh, to let his driver behind on soft compound to go by so you want to make sure that driver behind on soft compound don't passes us unless we're passing that lead driver as well. All right. 
All right, so we're down to conserve. We're gonna go for three laps. We're gonna come back to soft tires for two laps of boost. This time around, you wanna make sure you're watching you're watching that uh, servicing bar. You don't wanna boost too much and burn your servicing bar down. All right, you wanna make sure you're watching that servicing bar. It's gonna play a key role here at Baku in this strategy. All right, you see the rival, Joe, investing a lot of boost to keep that car in front, all right? As we go for three laps. So the rival should go to the pit there uh, with his driver on, who is that? Uh, Perez, his Perez should go to pit there while his Joe should continue on those hearts. His Joe should go to pit in the third lap here because of the amount of boosting uh, his Joe did. That's why he'd have to go to pit there. As you can see, Mick Schumacher crossing the line with 50%. That's going to be very important uh, in this strategy as we're going to be doing four laps with Mick here. So we want to make sure we keep that servicing bar above 50% uh, on our Joe. We're going to go to pit with no service in here. Hopefully we get a quick pit stop as we're not going to be servicing. I should boost here, but I don't want to burn down too much of that servicing bar. So we see the rival Joe going into pit there, and we're just going to boost a little bit of it into pit. And then we're going to cut down there. And then we're going to continue to cruise uh, with our Mick Schumacher here. He should get by them in the pits. And we're going to cut our Joe now up to boost as he exits. He exits on softs for two laps of boost. All right, so just crossing it 50% right there. Just making that 50%, so he's good for that two laps that we need him to boost for. And we see Mick Schumacher here. We're going to bring him back to pit the soft tires as well for two laps of boost. We want to make sure he goes around and enters the pit with at least 50%. If he does not have 50%, we'll have to uh, do some conserving within his boost strategy, his boost stint. So Mick making his stop and Joe putting pressure on the rival Joe got that position You want to let Mick exit the pit lane without boosting so we don't burn down any of that service in time it's very precious all right now we have 53 so we can boost or Joe there then we're gonna bring Mick now uh, back to pit for hard tires as it's three laps remaining and as I said you want to make sure you have one extra lap once you're going to be doing boost to finish. Wait, how did Mick suffer a... How, how did Joe suffer a breakdown? We didn't even notice. Uh, he ran out. So it cost us more than 50% here at Baku. Very interesting here that it cost us more than 50% here at Baku. And there we see 25% on Mick Schumacher. So it's costing Mick 20 the right amount of time, but it's, it costs Joe uh, more time for some strange reason. I don't know why that is. Probably the game knows that we're going to win. <laughs> Probably the game knew that we were going to win. So they just try to, you know, throw a, a wrench in our car to slow us down. Just so you know, the game does that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back to soft tires. See, 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 it almost happened again to our Mick Schumacher. It almost happened to our Mick. All right, so we're going to boost by now. Come on, Joe. There you go. All right, so now for our Joe to go catch Perez. As our Mick exits on softs. And then his job is now to come and catch up to the rival, Joe. While Orzo hunt down this Perez here. I'm thinking Perez should suffer a breakdown here in this one. Don't think he stopped for his servicing. So he might suffer a breakdown here. Let's see. Down the inside, Joe. Down the inside. Down the inside. Oh, come on, Joe. There you go. There you go. Got him. Got him. Got him. We're just going to keep that boost now to the lead. All right, we see Perez cutting down there. We're gonna cut down and save some of that tires. No, 
and we're going to boost. Don't want that Zo the rival Zhou to squeeze by because he's on the medium tires. So we're going to boost Orjo to the straight away. And then let him boost all the way home. Yeah, we just want to boost him all the way home here. Oh, he ran out right at the line. <laughs> right at the line, Perez ran out. Right at the line. If Perez did not run out there, we would have gotten the win. Uh, right at the line and lost that position. All right, so great race there. That's the best strategy uh, that I use for Baku uh, to get these wins. Let's look if or Joe was the if or drivers were. All right, so yeah, we got the better driver. As I said, you always want to make sure you have the better driver, and they have the better car. All right, nice. All right, so that was a great one, and that's basically going to be it. How to win series five, and yeah. I'll definitely pick up uh, with how to win series six tomorrow. Uh, and also I have some other videos that I, I need to mix up and throw in there. So I'll be making those videos as well for you guys. Uh, I know you guys, some players are currently struggling in the game. Uh, the reason why you're struggling mainly is because you're looking at the game the old way. You're looking at the game from the 2021 season when it's a brand new game. You don't want to look at it from the 2021 season. Uh, you want to learn the new metrics and look at it from a new perspective and you will figure it out and i'm here to help you guys as you go along and figure it out all right so that's basically going to be it for this one uh use code word get some rest <laughs> down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support and that's going to be it for this one and i'll see you guys in the next one peace all good guys bye